you know, when you hear a doctor that's got all these credentials and uh, accolades and he's the team doctor in the National Football League, you tend to believe him. You know, running out of a tunnel with 80,000 people screaming uh, wildly for you and you're about to go participate in one of the most primal sports there is on the planet uh, as an alpha male, it doesn't get any better. Football is a violent sport. You just got hurt playing football if you played hard enough. Some guys got hurt, I got hurt. And as a person who has a real high tolerance for pain, you know, when you have issues that need medication, you know, that's easy to look at a doctor and go, he's handing out them shots right now. I really need this if I'm gonna make it through today. Vicodins, Percocets, Vioxx. I mean, Vioxx was, it was a great drug. Merck Pharmaceutical Company pulling its arthritis drug called Vioxx off the market after a new study disclosed that it could increase the risk of heart attacks and stroke. Until Vioxx was uh, banned uh, and took off the shelves in America, I had bottles of it, you know? Uh, I had to give my dog Epicac one time because he ate one of my bottles of it and uh, make him throw up, you know? And uh, yeah, it's stockpiles of this stuff. Uh, that's how easy it was. It's a league of hypocrisy. As much as they want to punish this guy or that guy for performance enhancing drugs, they're using performance enhancing drugs in their own mind. We'll pump all you guys full of this stuff so you don't feel nothing when you're out there. It's just a fix for the interim and the immediate to keep you on the field. There's something to say for digging deep and, and uh, you know, being there for your team and pushing through injuries. But again, when it comes to the serious injuries and the ones that these doctors know shouldn't be out on that football field, uh, that's where it should be taken out of the player's hands. It's not uh, the doctor's decision. It's can you go? That's the question asked. Can you go? Marlins will try to improbably taking a two-zip lead in New York. And that season had a massive concussion, uh, knocked unconscious during the game. Um, that ball was dropped unbelievably in the protocol and how they went about that. Instead of, whoa, you know, this kid just got a concussion. We know it, we've seen it. Nope, we're gonna just pick him up, wake him up with the ammonia caps, take him to the sideline and uh, see if he can go or not before we take him to the locker room act like we're doing something and then bring him back out and sit him on the bench some more instead of taking him to the hospital, which we should do. And then uh, I was complaining of uh, a lot of pain in my leg. And so I allowed the doctors on the team to advise me that this wasn't that big a deal, that you must have something in your hip that's a problem. Uh, here, let us shoot you up with this. This will take away the pain and numb that and continue to allow you to play. I shouldn't be playing football right now. My back kills me. I wake up, I still have numbness in my leg and my, uh, you know, I'm dealing with a, a, a number of pain issues and who knows what the future holds for me. I didn't know that that was telltale sign of a back injury. They didn't care about my well-being and how long of a career I could have there. Uh, they only cared for the interim of what I was going to be able to do. Ultimately, it was me being released because of that injury. When you're done, you're done, and there's no human resource department, you're pretty much left on your own to deal with it. So now I don't know whether my shaking hands are coming from uh, early onsets of dementia and Alzheimer's or ALS, um, or just the natural breakdown of my body and playing in the National Football League. I'm becoming uh, so much less of a man than I was, and I'm only in my 30s. If I knew that this was gonna be the outcome, if these doctors were gonna do this, they were gonna neglect your injury situations, they're gonna pump you full of drugs, put you back in games after bad concussions, I can honestly say I would have played another sport. And I think that that's what's gonna come back to haunt them, is because I think you're gonna see enough football players that uh, have played the game that are really good at other sports go, you know what, I don't wanna deal with that. You know, I don't wanna have that life. If these guys who played 30 years ago, 20 years ago, and 40 years ago are totally forgot. What are the guys playing the game now gonna be like in 30 years? It's a cycle that has to change. I've got a young son and he wants to play football, you know? And uh, I don't want him not to play football. I want him to play football when football's right, when it's right for him to play. I wanna know why. 
why are you discounting this? You obviously see the negative that has come from it. Why haven't you been progressive on addressing the problems with your players? Why are you guys continuing to kick this can down the road?